Good Wednesday morning, Stock Valley. We'll go ahead and get right to the point with your forecast today as we do run the risk for some severe weather. Already seeing some storm activity move in from the west. A reminder that the Davenport radar is down today as they move their weather service office. So we'll be relying on the Chicago radar, which gives us a little bit of a different perspective of the storm. But nonetheless, we'll show you what's happening today. Expecting that complex continuing to move in. Likely some good amounts of lightning and some heavy rainfall certainly possible with these storms this morning. Then we'll see a bit of a break. And then this afternoon looking for some stronger development possibly to the west of the area initially and then this will be moving eastward into the area after about six or seven o'clock this evening all of us under a slight risk especially to the east an enhanced risk exists just to the west where that higher threat of severe weather will be your threats today the tornadic threat not overly impressive here locally looks a little bit more impressive off to the west the hail threat also more impressive to the west but certainly could be some larger hail sizes here up to one inch, perhaps even two inches in diameter. And your wind threat also right now looking at about 70 miles per hour, possibly by later on this afternoon. And we'll go through those threats here individually in just a moment. Go ahead and time out the storms, see what we can potentially expect by three o'clock this afternoon, perhaps some scattered activity. The larger hail threat's going to come with a storm that can organize itself individually besides being in a line segment. And that's the type of storm we're gonna be looking for, the line segment anyway, especially by later on this evening. And here we are at seven o'clock. Notice a nice line of storms organizing in parts, parts of Eastern Iowa. This is kind of the solution that I'm leaning more towards for our storms this evening. I think we're going to get a line segment developing just to the east of the area. That will push through after six or seven o'clock this evening posing a threat for some damaging winds, could also be some hail in that too. But I think really the threat to hammer home with our storms today is going to be the heavy rainfall. There is a lot of moisture in the air with this system to work with, and we can see rainfall rates in excess of one to two inches per hour, which will likely cause some flash flooding issues. Any storm that could repeat itself over the same area, which is possible for some of us this evening, will certainly be capable of putting down a very good amount of rainfall in a very short amount of time. So a good idea to check some of those gutters especially this afternoon before that heavy rainfall moves in. Here's a breakdown of the threat regionally here. The tornadic potential, again, highest to the west, a 5% risk. <laughs> Portions of Whiteside County, the rest of us, that's 2% risk. Your damaging wind potential, that's kind of the other higher impact uh, potential that we have going for storms today. 30% off just to the west of the area here, 15% over most of us directly. And same thing goes with the large hail threat. Again, that larger threat center just to our west where the initial storm development will likely take place. In review timing on these three to 11 o'clock, again, could see some large hail between one to two inches in diameter. Wind gusts up to 70 miles per hour and then isolated tornado or two, especially to the west of the area where that higher threat exists. And again, the biggest threat I think today is that torrential rainfall up to one to two inches plus per hour certainly possible as these storms begin rolling through. Lower 80s for our highs today. Storms will be likely. Winds will be gusty as well, south at about 30 miles per hour. And a peek at your week's worth of weather as we were on the extended planning forecast here. Chance of storms still tomorrow, a low risk for severe weather with those. Same thing for Friday, temperatures in the 80s. The upcoming weekend looks dry but warm, still remaining highs near 80 degrees. And then we have a couple more active chances for more showers and storms heading into early next week before we see that big warm up just after the 4th of July. Make sure and download the Sock Valley Weather mobile app. We'll continue to push severe weather alerts and notifications through that app throughout the day and just stay weather aware should severe weather begin impacting the area. Have a good Wednesday.